Good morning, BoobTube. Happy solstice, Yule log, seasons, greetings, New Year's, all that shit. Last night, the Leafs played the second of a back-to-back -back, uh, situation in New York the night before, at home to Detroit last night, and uh, they played a really solid game. Um, the biggest storyline going into it, I guess, was everybody was saying this was Hutchinson's last chance. He was getting the start, and this was his last chance. If he didn't finally crack a win, it was the end of his career, possibly, at least with the Leafs, if not in general. Um, so, and I, I, again, you know my thoughts on this. I feel he's been unfairly snubbed in all this because of the situations he's been thrown into and how the team has played in front of him uh, during those contests. And I think that the whole his undefeated or his defeated streak I guess with the Leafs leading up to last night should just be erased because it was under the Babs era and we all know how the team was not responding to his coaching anymore and how they were playing early in the year so I think he was if he'd lost last night maybe maybe it would have been the end of his career or whatever but I didn't I again I don't think that it should have been I think that was unfair so um so that was probably the biggest storyline going into it um, another kind of uh, part of it was that Trevor Moore was finally back from injury and uh, for being uh, first game in a while he had a lot of energy and he was his usual spunky self I thought he got better and better as the game went on um, the game itself was kind of weird uh, the first few shifts Hutchison really kept the Leafs in it he was tested he made a bunch of really good saves because uh, the Leafs just couldn't get going right at the start and Detroit was sending uh, a couple of their speedier guys like Larkin and Athianasu kind of getting in behind the D and cherry picking a bit at times and blowing the zone and they got some breakaway chances uh, throughout the game not uh, but early as well and uh, and Hutch held them into it held them in it and then once that was kind of out of the way the first few minutes were out of the way the Leafs settled in and they really played that possession game that that they've been working towards with this with this team setup they have and it worked it worked for most of the rest of the game in the end the stats were like uh i think detroit have shot shot them by you know seven or eight shots or whatever and uh and stuff like that but it really felt like the leaves controlled the game for 90 percent of it um other than that first bit in the in the first period and then maybe a bit in the third but uh the the scoring didn't happen until late in the second period Hyman was sent in on a breakaway and it was a whole mess somebody caught up to him and dragged him down and then the net came off and uh and so it looked like it was going to be a tripping penalty I believe but then the 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 league went right to the the review and it, it turned out that before the net had come off the puck somehow slid through all three bodies and went in uh, and so that was a a bizarre kind of goal but you take them however they come right so uh one nothing heading into the third period and then in the third period the Leafs kind of blew it open just like they did in New York uh they um Matthews got a goal maybe three minutes in or so and then uh just before the halfway point Matthews sent Hyman in on another kind of partial breakaway and he switched uh, he was going down the left wing switched to his backhand and just roofed a beauty top corner and that put them up I guess three to nothing at that point and then a little while after that on the power play Matthews struck again with a nice little setup right right in front of the net uh, and that was when all hell broke loose in the game um, I forgot how fired up I used to get about hockey when there was actually some consequences and some some uh, some rough stuff uh, going on which for the last few years you don't see it anymore right um, when Matt Martin was th with the Leafs that was the last time you ever saw something like that but even then it was a lot less than it used to be um, yeah a few minutes left uh, Muzzin set up somebody for a really nice hit uh, down the, the left wall and uh, nice clean hit lay, did, well, didn't destroy him or anything but sent him to the ice and it was a pretty solid hit and then for some reason and this really pisses me off when a guy jumps in and just starts going at somebody after a clean hit it's like you're not even allowed to hit anymore it's like you take offense to your teammate being hit yeah, if it's a cheap shot and it's a dirty play, but if, if one of your buddies gets hit cleanly, that's the game. It's still allowed. Like, it's freaking unbelievable these guys get so worked up. So then Mantha came after Muzzin uh, to try and fight him, and then Muzzin just kind of fired him to the ice. The guy landed on his head, and he was down for a few minutes, and it was like, well, you kind of got what you had coming, right? Like, I understand he could have been hurt, but stop what you're doing. Like, don't be stupid, right? Like, 
um, that whole thing, and it's it's been become a real problem over the last number of years, and that's the problem with taking the fighting and now almost take trying to take the hitting out of the game is that when something does happen that's allowed and that's totally clean, there's these weird responses to it, and then uh, Muzzin has to fire a guy down on his head, which uh, I know, not wishing anybody injury, but he got what he had coming, um, you know, stop that shit. You know, you just stop that. If somebody gets speared in the nuts or, you know, two-handed or something like that, fine, go after them and, and at all costs, destroy them. But clean hits, come on. It's so ridiculous. It's one of my least favorite things that's going on in the league right now. And uh, and kind of Mantha kind of got what he had coming to him there. And then after that, it was uh, that Athanasiu guy tried to stick his leg out on, on Kerfoot. Luckily, Kerfoot got out of the way just in time and it was the min the impact was minimal and he was fine. But uh, Detroit was getting dirty at the end after the whole thing with, with Mantha and Muzzin. So um, it kind of ended with some fireworks and stuff like that. And uh, it, it really got me fired. That was the most fired up I was the whole game. And most hockey fans will tell you that. Everybody loves a good fight and a big hit, you know? Like, um, the league's kind of going in the wrong direction that way. But um, it's 2019, right? Can't have people hating each other. So... That was kind of the way it ended, and unfortunately, the thing that really, really pissed me off about the whole thing was that the Leafs somehow, after the Muzzin hit, ended up with a penalty. Um, Mantha got a penalty for roughing, Muzzin got a penalty for roughing, but then Muzzin got an extra two for I don't know what, and then, uh, so that ruined uh, Hutchison's shutout bid when, when Detroit was able to convert on that power play, so that really pissed me off. And then what I really liked was Dermot was... Uh, when Detroit did score on the power play, he was banging his stick on the ice like a madman and staring the ref down. Like, you suck, right? You made a bad call. And he was entirely correct. So then they gave him a 10-minute 10 mis 10 minute misconduct and kicked him out of the game, which, again, is completely ridiculous. Um, yeah, and then after that, like I said, it ended with the uh, the knee-on-knee -knee and uh, a bit of fireworks. But uh, nothing else much happened after that. And uh, the Leafs sealed a 4-1 win with some awesome rough stuff. And... Uh, they now have just one game left um, before the break, the next generation game tomorrow against Carolina. Is it Carolina? I think it's Carolina. Um, at two o'clock in the afternoon. So that's always a kind of weird, a weird thing, but uh, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, I, uh, they've had, I can't remember how they fared last year, but the year when it first started, it was, I'm not even sure if it was the next gen game or it was something, but it was an afternoon game close to Christmas. And they played Carolina, and they just destroyed them. It was one of the best games I'd seen them play that season. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was so weird having hockey in the afternoon. But um, once or twice a year, it's fine. But uh, I always prefer the night games so that I can actually watch them and, and uh, enjoy them. So, But, uh, yeah, so that's the way the last night went in Detroit. And the one other thing I have to mention is that I got all messed up on my home away games uh, a while back when the, the Leafs finished off that road trip. They played Vancouver, Calgary, and then in Edmonton to finish it off. I had they played St. Louis before Vancouver to start that road trip, and I totally pegged that as a home game in my videos for some reason. But uh, the road trip actually started in St. Louis, so I went back and I fixed all the descriptions in my video um, to be up to date with the right home away game, whatever. But uh, obviously, in my videos, I can't correct that because they have all been deleted after I upload them. So, um, so you will notice a bit of um, uh, mismatching for a few videos along the way starting with that St. Louis game uh, five or six games ago. But uh, everything is up to date now in the descriptions, and uh, hopefully I won't make that mistake again. But uh, I got a lot of shit going on, and I'm 43, so uh, she's not what she used to be. Anyways, have a great rest of the weekend, and uh, let's get another big win tomorrow. Toodles.